Good morning, New Holland. <clears throat> Thanks for coming to God's house. Uh, I, when I heard that song, Glorious Day, I thought, there is that day that is coming. But you know, every day with Jesus is a glorious day. Every day to know that uh, uh, I, I stand with the, the honor of knowing the Lord and Savior of the kingdom of all the world. That's, a, that's an amen, blessed, hallelujah day. And thank you for uh, coming and being part of this special service. The last two years has been difficult. We have, um, uh, I don't think, I, I, I can tell you for a fact, I have never gone this long in my ministry without seeing um, a rush of baptisms. It's just uh, nothing that I'm used to, but I'm honored to be able to share Christ with people and to see that uh, the God power of the gospel is still there, that the, there's still room at the cross, the blood is still sufficient, that uh, Christ is still willing to take anyone that is so willing to uh, repent of their sins and to follow them, and uh, the blessings of uh, giving that person all that they could ask for and then some, and that's what we celebrate today. This is uh, the week before Resurrection Sunday. Uh, during this week, a long time ago, uh, our Savior that Passion Week went to Jerusalem with the sole purpose of dying for our sins went to the cross of Calvary because that's what it took to take away our sins. He had to go there. If there had been any other way, God would not have made him go to the cross. But he went to be that sacrifice for us, to, to literally take our place and to shed his blood to cleanse of us of our ugly sin. And that's what we celebrate here today. So we have five here. We have one in the early service. We have five here in this service. And let's just celebrate with them. I thank you always as you see someone baptized, you always celebrate with them and clapping the hands. The Bible says that the, that the heavens rejoice. I think we need to not let them out, outdo us this morning. Amen? Let us rejoice too. Jonathan? Yeah, you did good. All right. Sounds good. Wave everybody and smile. All right. This is Jonathan DeFevers. Um, his first service with us was last year on Resurrection Sunday. And he and his 2B, Emily, she's going to be baptized here in a second, but they've been a faithfully attending the last year. And about um, five weeks after he started attending, he was at work, and the Lord met him there. You know, you don't have to be in the church to get saved. You don't have to come to the altar you can, anywhere that the Lord would so speak and you would so listen is a perfect place. Amen? Because that's the encounter that you will never forget forever. So on that day, Jonathan trusted the Lord as his Savior. You ask him into your heart? And uh, he's still there today. Amen? Amen. So he comes forward to be baptized today, to uh, become the full follower of Christ, to follow the example that Christ made for us. Step forward just a little bit. All right. Jonathan DeFevers, upon your professional faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and now your obedience to his commands, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ready? Let's go. Come on. They asked me how many I baptized. I said, I don't know, somewhere over 400. I'm thinking that may be a low number, but I told them I hadn't killed anybody yet. So, <laughs> All right, turn around. Oh, look at this. Isn't she beautiful? Some of y'all have known her for quite a while. <clears throat> this is Emily Fagan. She's been a member of our church for quite a while. Um, you don't have to stare at them the whole time. I won't make you do that. <laughs> Um, Emily was baptized a long time ago when Mike Taylor was the pastor and uh, she doesn't remember anything about it uh, she doesn't remember uh, giving her heart to life um, and everybody knows the water doesn't save the water, what the water does is it's a symbol of what's already happened in your heart so when we were talking I said when did you come to know the Lord and Mark took the youth to winter extreme and sometime during that that uh weekend that time um they gave an invitation she gave her heart and life to christ 
And uh, the Lord in heaven rejoiced at that, wrote her name down in the Lamb's Book of Life. She didn't immediately get baptized uh, from that because of, uh, she had, was baptized as a child, and she said she didn't know. But the Lord had been working on her, and before we even talked, she said that she, had, she knew that this was something that she needed to do. And uh, she and Jonathan are going to get married on June the 4th, and isn't this a wonderful way to begin a marriage? Amen? <clears throat> Emily Fagan, upon your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus, and now your obedience to his commands, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God is good. Come on. Jesus always wins. You nervous? <laughs> I know. Amen. Wave everybody. Y'all wave back. There you go. <clears throat> this is Luana DeFebers. Um, she made her decision to follow Christ in 2002. Um, I'm not going to make her tell her whole story, but we talked about it, and uh, it's, it's a very sure salvation. But um, she didn't completely get the church home part down until she started coming here. And uh, sometime in 2019 is when I first started meeting her, and uh um, she is a sweet, sweet person. We've talked quite a bit, and um, I'm grateful for uh, all that the Lord has done in her life. And by the way, all that Lord is doing in her life, it's not a one-time, salvation is a one-time complete thing, but walking with him is, uh, is learning to walk in newness of life every day. And I am grateful <clears throat> 20 years later that now she's coming forward to do what Christ asked her to do, which was to be a follower of Christ and be baptized. <clears throat> Luana DeFevers, upon your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and now your obedience to his commands, it's my pleasure to baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ready? Here we go. I got you. I got you. Amen. Yes, ma'am. You know, I could get used to this. <laughs> this one's got a smile. Now look at people. She, can can y'all see her? She's, she's, that's, as, that's as tall as she gets right there. Okay. I'm sorry. You're good. Um, <clears throat> I checked on my phone, and we were texting each other last June. And I was trying to get Robert and Beverly to come eat with me, and uh, we never could. We never could. And we talked on that front porch. I can't tell you how many times about we need to get together and talk. But it was always something. And uh, I guess I'm impatient. I guess I want to do everything yesterday. I, I want to do the Lord's will with all my heart as fast as I can. But, um, what, two, three weeks ago? They finally said yes, and we went out to eat on a Friday night. And I always have date night, but uh, I brought my date with me. There she is in the balcony. And uh, we talked about everything else. And of course, they knew that you, you go to eat with Preacher Brian, he's going to talk about salvation. And um, we talked, and I said, have you ever trusted the Lord as your Savior and Lord? And Robert was the very first one. He said, nope. And this one... 
over about the last two months. She's cried every invitation. And she began to tell me how good a job I was doing preaching. And I know I don't do that good of a job preaching, so I knew something was up. And uh, I could tell the Lord was working with her. So we ate pizza and other Italian food. I forgot what we ate that night. And we had an absolutely wonderful conversation. And Robert and Beverly prayed right there in a booth at AJ's in Cornelia. She gave her heart and life to Christ. Did you ask the Lord in your heart? Yep. Is he your Savior and Lord? Yep. Forevermore. Yep. I tell you one thing, God's put a smile on her face and it sure does look good. You know, Satan wants to win, but our, he's a defeated foe. That's what we told her that night. Um, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be forgiven. Amen. Beverly DeFevers. I probably scoot up a little bit. All right. <laughs> Upon your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, now your obedience to his commands, I baptize you, my sister. <laughs> Amen. I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, <laughs> the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grab. Let's go. Amen. <laughs> Tears get me every time. <laughs> you saw the short version. Feels pretty good. No. I told him the water was 40 degrees. He didn't believe me. By the way, shout out to Larry. Right. You're doing good. It's over 90 degrees in here. Amen. I can stay up here all day if some more want to get baptized. <laughs> Scoot forward a little bit. I've already told you how Robert came to know the Lord. The one thing I want to say about Robert was he was eager. He was eager. He was ready. He was eager. And um, I think satisfied is a good word. Um, I thank the Lord for what he does. And when, when, when all the burden is taken off of our shoulders, and Lord, we just get the privilege of having the peace that goes beyond all understanding, that's what the world needs to see in us every day. Robert? Scoot forward. I don't want him to go out of the picture here. Well, I don't mind. <laughs> Robert DeFevers, upon your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and now your obedience to his commands, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Grab a hold. Ready? Let's go. Foot went up there. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. I love you. Yeah. I got all of him underneath. The foot came out, though. Did y'all see that? You hold on. One more step. Can you feel it? Come on around. Come this way. Yeah, smile at everybody. All right, you turn this way. Um, I talked to uh, Emily about been two months, a couple months ago, months. and um, she wasn't sure about her relationship with the Lord. So um, I want everybody to know. I want everybody to know that they know that they know that uh, everything's taken care of between them and the Lord. And we went over to the big brother's room, and mm -hmm. she and Trenton and I talked, and um, she, uh, I asked her if she would like to accept the Lord into her heart, and she did. And we prayed, and then we talked about all the th things that come after that. Um, I'm, I'm not baptizing two. I'm only baptizing one, though she's about, what, seven months? In, in month eight. In month eight. Mm -hmm. So uh, thankful for the men. This, warm, this water is warm, <laughs> and I love that. But I'm grateful for what Christ has done for us. I am grateful for uh, baptism 
because it shows the death, the burial, and the resurrection. And we should not make light of something that Jesus thought so much of. And uh, I'm grateful for her testimony and her wanting to uh, go forward uh, as a young couple, been married less than a year. But um, also, they want to uh, do everything the way the Lord wants them to. Okay? All right, put your arms up. I'll tell you when I hold your nose. All right. Emily Perry, upon your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your obedience to his commands, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. Ready? Amen. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I always love when I baptize somebody and they come up and they look at me and say, thank you. Thank Jesus. Amen.